Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NJ. So, the folks at the Fuse Studio have just recently released Procedural Stadiums. And Procedural Stadium is an amazing tool that allows you to create stadiums and arenas with a simple click. And this comes with all of the bells and whistles that you need for creating that amazing stadium. And this offers a ton of customization and features that you would definitely want to see. And with that said, let's dive right into it. So with Blender simply open up right here, how we get to work with this is pretty simple. As all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and go over to add-ons. Right here is where you have to install from disk and once we click on that, we need to go over to the folder where we downloaded the procedural stadium. The procedural stadium comes with two different files, procedural stadium add-on and you've also got the asset. The asset you need to unzip and the add-on you need to install. So once we have that installed, we can now go over to the asset folder part. So you need to unzip that and specify that folder and that is the folder you need to attach. Now, once we're done, we need to go over to the bugger menu, save our preference and close the window. And once you do that, if you tap N on the keyboard, you'd notice that we've got procedural stadium. This comes with five different stadium types and they include American football, basket arena, boxing arena, ice hockey arena and soccer stadium. This also comes with different kinds of assets that you can work with. And this asset includes arena section, audience, cotton field, scoreboard, stadium crew and stadium section and to any of them that you select you would also find out the assets that are relative to these exist right there so we're just going to go ahead and select maybe a soccer stadium for example click on import stadium now once you do that this takes a couple of seconds and imports the stadium so we can zoom all the way out and you can see the stadium that we have this comes with literally everything that you need from the scoreboard to the lights the main field itself seats trust and so on and one of the things that you can do with this is playing with the preset so if we go over to the preset section you would notice that we've got three different presets and this depends on the arena or stadium that you're working with so in this case we can select any of these ones and apply them and see what they look like and of course if we'd like to make changes to any of these ones maybe we'd like to build ours and make some presets out of them which we can reuse over and over all we need to do is to go over to the settings and from the settings is where we can start making some cool stuff if we switch back to the viewport shading go over to the section part of the settings we can choose to increase this sections depending on what we want so if we would like to have about five of that we can increase the section to five and you notice that because this is fully procedural the stadium itself adapts to it if we'd like to make only two of that section you notice it adapts to it as well so we can go from one all the way to maybe like five again this is totally dependent on what you want to create and to each of the sections you'd also notice that they do have parameters so one of the cool parameters that they have is for gates so if you like to have gates on the first section you can turn that on and you notice automatically that adds that gate if you like to have gates on the third section as well you can turn that on and you'd also see that too now within the settings if you go over to the seat section you can now start making some interesting changes and you can flip from the standard seat all the way to the close foldable and the open foldable seat you can also choose to play with the selected colors that you want to work with but of course if you just want to have a specific set of color for a specific group set then you can so if we like to change the seat color we can simply select the appropriate seat color and change it to a given color and the seat color of number two actually deals with the base and also the top one so we can also go ahead and make that change to that seat color it's also worth mentioning that you can use an image to drive the seat color and to do this is pretty simple what you need is a black and white image as this is used as a mask and this is going to be placed on one side of the stadium and you notice that it takes the colors that we have there but of course if we just want to make this white and black we can actually go over to the color settings and set all of our stuff to white while the image seat color remains black and down here you would notice that we have audience so for audience what we can do is pretty simple Go over to the asset section and select the audience. Now within the audience, you've got four different presets that you can work with. So I'm going to first select the seated audience and we're going to import that. So once we have that imported, I'm going to go back to the audience and I can get a standing audience. Once you bring this in, you need to make sure you have enable audience turned on, go all the way down and right here where you have collections, you can now specify the collection. I'm just going to type in the word seat and get the seated people right there and they will populate all of the seats. We can now go over to the standing and I can type in the word stand and get the standing people right there. If we'd like to add additional stuff, say for example, we'd like to add, you know, seated talking, 
Maybe we like that to be the VIPs. We can import that and also specify that within the VIP section. And of course, if you like to load more stuff in, you can. So we can also throw in flags and this is going to show the small flag and the big flags as well. There's a lot of customization that can be done here. This is fully procedural and it allows you to do all of these things as much as you want. There's a lot of settings that you can play with. So whether you're looking for settings for the field, maybe we'd like to change the grass type. This also offers you all of that. So you can change the grass type again, depending on what you're going for if you like to throw in some photographers and also some safety guards you can so we can just simply toggle on the button and we'll get the photographers and safety guards right here and you can see how much quality this has and of course there is also the scoreboard so if you like to make updates to the scoreboard you can you can choose to turn this off if you want, maybe font options or even load yours. And of course, if you like to set score point, minute offset and seconds offset, you can also do that. The scoreboard also contains a color section, which you can use to specify the color that you want for the scoreboard. You can also choose to stretch the scoreboard, scale this however you want and do as many cool stuff procedurally that you want to do to a scoreboard. The corridors also have some parameters that you can play with and the same thing can also be said for the stairs. So maybe you like to increase the width of the stairs or even reduce this, you can. You can also make changes to the advertisement board, the player entrance and the stadium exteriors. And the stadium exteriors is pretty interesting because at this point, if you simply zoom all the way out, this is basically what the stadium looks like. So let's just go ahead and find the entrance. Now we don't have one. So what we can do is right over here, we can come down and select no structure, for example, and the stadium wouldn't have one. And I think for this one, we can just go ahead and switch to the viewport mode so we can actually see that. So we can set this to no structure and we can see that. And we can also go ahead and set this to maybe structure one because this does have various structure types that you can work with. So we can set that to structure one, structure two, and this looks pretty cool. So we can take a look at that. And again, depending on the structure that you're working with, these have different settings. So for structure two, you notice that we've got a stadium sign setting. We can actually call this, you know, an asking key um, stadium. And we can change the color of what it is. We can increase the scale if we want. We can reduce the scale if we want. You know, we can do all of that. And all of what we've just seen is applicable to the rest of the other stadium types that exist. So this is it. The folks at the Fuse Studio have created this amazing tool and it is currently going for 25% off right now. So for those who like to take a look at this or possibly like to get this, this might just be the best time for you to come through and check it out. You can simply check out their storefront where you can find procedural stuff that they're currently doing a 25% sale on. We've talked about their procedural crowd, the procedural sign and the procedural alley on the channel before. And for those who like to find out most of that currently doing 25% off, you can simply come over to Blender Market, links to all of this is going to be in the description. And of course, you can still find a ton of things that you can get for 25% off. So if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.